What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. We're still rolling with this 433 uh, Dutch side and it's okay. I'm, uh, I've got mixed feelings about it. There's some really fun players to use and I was talking about this on my live stream yesterday. Before we get in fully into the episode, if you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out the gamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code JAPES to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. And away we go. So my philosophy on FIFA is starting to, I suppose, starting to change a little bit. Um, how about this for a ridiculous chip, by the way? <laughs> Absolutely delightful. Uh, but my philosophy this year is starting to change a little bit. And that might be because uh, maybe I'm changing a little bit. I don't know. I can't figure out the exact reason. But I've started to play more for, well, Ultimate Team especially, more for just fun versus playing to like sweat it out and win games because when I do that I I just get so frustrated with some of the things that happened this year um, and I'm sure you guys feel that way as well a little bit of work here from Wesley Snyder this guy as you can tell probably from this sequence not the most exceptional defender you'll ever see a um, little bit fortunate to keep it right there but once that one was kept and this is just messing around with the left bumper trying to figure out what is best that's a fantastic finish in the bottom corner so in the next episode of power you're gonna see a very I don't know hopefully unique squad is what I am gonna be looking at building uh, not only that I am going to work on playing on semi manual shooting I think um, which should be interesting which should it should be very interesting you guys many of you guys will know that in the past years on FIFA I have uh, some of them I've played on semi uh, and that was because you could you know, I thought you could score goals from different spots, and it'd be a really good thing to have. Um, this year, I haven't messed around with it yet, and I think it's time to give it a shot and see if I can score the audacious. Not that that ship wasn't audacious enough uh, from Quincy Promes, and I, st I know I say his name wrong. Is it Promus? Uh, Promise? Uh, I can't get it right. He's one of those players that I've I haven't struggled with a name like that in a long time because everything in my mind is telling me to say it one way. And your comment section is saying, there is telling me to say it another way. Also, before I get uh, onto it, I want to thank you guys that commented on my Zozagi combo video on the questionable squads that I released yesterday. Uh, I think that is definitely going to be a series that I'm going to keep up with, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to get the interaction from you guys. The premise of it is you guys get to ask me a bunch of questions on a squad about a squad on Twitter, and then I go through and answer those questions and show you guys, you know, the goals and the gameplay of uh, of using that squad so it, I think it turned out pretty well for the first time and uh, next time I've got some few things that I'm gonna change up some improvements but if you haven't checked that out already I encourage you guys to go ahead and check that on out also uh, today I'm gonna be streaming some pro clubs with the CDK guys so if that's something that you're into or if it's something that you're unsure of I would encourage you to come check that out as well because it is a lot of fun and you'll probably see some highlights of uh, of the pro clubs action because there's pretty funny things that happen uh, playing pro clubs with those guys and it's it's nice because you can give each other a hard time and it makes FIFA a little bit more lighthearted. I think one of the things that I love about video games in general um, is the ability to play with other people and that's why I, I tend to lock onto a game mode like clubs um, which is really really fun so this guy really nice Portuguese side I saw this side and I thought yeah this guy's gonna be a good player because he's got a you know a unique uh, take on a side and that tackle right there I thought I had it and uh, I don't exactly know what it is but it's one of those things for me lately where that tackle is usually something I'd come away with but lately, I'm not coming away with it. So I don't know what to change in my gameplay. Puts me down 1-0. On the stroke of the 45th, go figure. We take him down in the box again, and it's going to be down 2-0, straight down the middle. And I don't know if he, he knew that I died, because I, I move a lot at the start of penalties. And generally, when someone moves a lot, they're going to dive. Also right there, I don't know what happened with the switching and drive. This game is driving me mental sometimes. Sorry for the... I don't know. Just the the frustration station is real. But I will never, ever, ever give up on a game. Um, that is just my mentality. I always think that it's possible to come back. So 3-0 down in the 63rd. We pull one back. We switch to a 4-1-2-1-2. Put Memphis Depay up front. 
and I thought, all right, I'm going to try to bang it around and exploit the ability of players like Depay to just run through defenses and bang in a few goals. So there's two back in the 88th minute. So I would have to pull out the heroics in the 90th. And we had the 90 plus 5, and Depay is sent on through. He rushes his keeper out. What are you doing? And that is a free open goal. So the comeback is complete. And I was like, nice. Now I will say, during the entirety of that comeback, I was playing on team pressing and attacking. And he could not get out of, really out of the midfield. I went back to defensive and this happened square away. In the extra time, I was devastated. I just, you just can't even touch the tackle button in the box with low rated defenders because strikers just drop like a ton of bricks every time you do it and it is terribly terribly frustrating I should have thought that he'd go down the middle once again but I thought this might be the time that he dived I figured I wouldn't move this time and maybe I'd get him to go to one side and he still went down the middle that little rap but well played to him that's another loss uh, and if you saw in the beginning of that we won the first game and then had to restart the King Country Cup, which is just freaking annoying. EA, please sort it out. Anyways, that's where we're going to come to a close of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you all very much for watching. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.